I'll be honest, going into this episode, I had no idea Dix's last name was Perdix. So this title of this episode is Dix Perdix slash The Dreams of Beasts. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and if I sound a little weird or if I am a little weird for the first like 10 minutes of this episode, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. I am super exhausted, super beat. That's how I always am when I wake up. It just takes me a second to get into it. Usually by the time the opening's done, I'm somewhat woken up because the opening, I start to get into it. But I'm super excited for this episode and the finale of season three leading into season four of Don Machi. I have no idea how my boy Bell is going to beat Dix. From what I know, he has a two level advantage, which is like unheard of in fighting, you know, pretty much what I'm, from what I've seen, at least in terms of victory from our lower tiered opponent but then we have all the Zenos going crazy because of the curse that's actually the only way we're going to stop it is by beating dick so i just i have no idea what's going to happen we're in the gnosis made by the daedalus amelia line like it's just it's a long story that's all crazy but i'm just ready for it remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching make sure to check out that patreon down below we are four episodes ahead it's always available to you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it also does help me with that youtube algorithm thank you guys so much make sure to subscribe if you guys currently are not join that dapper squad always welcome all you members don't forget to turn on that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post and then follow me on all my social medias instagram twitter and twitch at dapper darius Thank you guys so much. Let's hop right on into this. Um, Don Machi, Season 3, Episode 7, Dix, Perdix, The Dreams of Beasts. Okay, I did remember they said that. So, so inflicts a big toll. That's how maybe this is possible. The curse lowers his status by a lot. Of course it does. Is this actually based off lore? Like, real life lore? Because I'm trying to remember the uh, oh, fucking Lancer's name from Fate Stay Night. Fate, is Fate Stay Night the first one? Is that the one I watched? I'm pretty sure. Because um, he had a red spear that made it so was one of them you can't use you can't heal that wound like whether like that's so that's too accurate to not be both of them based because also that show was based on historical figures as well i mean this one has mythology but it's so crazy to me the ones yeah east yeah that's us That's Arles or Arlies, the rabbit. Oh, yeah. How did I forget they went and got the big boy? I forgot that. That's even worse, bro. You're fucked up. I understand. I'm just going to say, I sort of understand what he's saying when there's a physical, a fit, not, it's not like, hmm, I'm trying to compare this to much as to how we can feel it, but there's a physical feeling in his blood urging him, compelling him to do these things. He cannot overcome it no matter what. The only thing that allows him to overcome that, drugs, alcohol, anything would not allow it, but the only thing that does is the killing of talking monsters for said reasons he just said here i'm not going to go into that because that's obviously fucked up but that's the only thing that's allowed him to overcome his blood aka overcome himself give him that feeling pure ecstasy fucking crazy what <laughs> what i seek now is simple yeah the xenos to wiene <laughs> yeah exactly that's the ultimate offense to him. That's like his whole life's work, pretty much. Which is crazy. He did overcome his blood binding really good. That's crazy. A beast dream. 
There's the title of the episode. Even my waifus, Asfi and Aisha? Oh, Ryu, no. Oh my god. We're drawing it with our monster call. <laughs> what is this, like Harry Potter? Prisoner of Azkaban? Huh? What are you doing? Saving your life! Uh, We're going deeper in the Gnosis. This is crazy. Wiene, yes. This is gonna give us the ultimate motivation we need, even though there's a level disparity here. We're gonna do it. Nah, see. What would happen? I don't like the sound of that. I don't know this the Vivre race. I knew we would see final form fucking Wiene. I did not I was saying that completely jokingly. I did not think we'd actually get that. She does turn into one of those things, I see. This is what happens in a lot of these anime where it's the best friend who needs to stop the best friend who's controlled. You just gotta take the hits. You just gotta take them. I'm getting such throwbacks of a gun right now from Hunter x Hunter. He would take a beating. But you could tell she has some humanity there. She said Bell. She's literally still speaking. And that's exactly what he said last time she heard him on accident every time. <laughs> the throwbacks, man. You love to see it. That was real big for her. That was like a... That was a real moment. I'm hoping she doesn't just attack him. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would not happen. Oh, at least she's conflicted, you can tell. It was. Ooh, ooh, okay, Don Machi, relax. That's true. If they're asking for help, that's more than enough. That sounds like some Deku talk right now. I've been rewatching my hero. I love this whole hero philosophy, man. Makes me want to be a better person. Lead, was he able to break the curse? I love lead. I love his personality. Even through the curse, man. Fuck that curse. Yeah, you're getting pinched now from both sides. A little two v one action. A little monster human team up. Yeah, you go, fells. Let's go, gross. Pop off, everybody. Pop off. Fuck these guys. Argonaut, low popping off. Bro, this 2v1 is nasty. <laughs> oh. oh, bro, the animation in this show does absolutely pop sometimes. That would make sense. Let him tank that hit. Damn, that's smart actually on Dix's part. And that's for Wiene. Ooh, good save, Lean and Bell. Teamwork. Now he's just fucking with her. Oh, hallucination she's seeing now. Jesus. 
Because this is the other way down in the dungeon besides Babel. Is Dix gonna survive? God, I wanted to see him die so bad. So Bell and Fells book it up to the top. I'm down. I'm really liking Fells a lot more. Which is good. I was shocking. That thing was fucking huge. I'm with lead. Bell and We Nice need you guys. Hell yeah. That's a good reason, Gross. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. It's like a panacea. That's what's used for healing in multiple video games. Panakia. Interesting. Look at that healing. That's so nasty, Fells. Let's go. Oh, this guy survived too? Oh, yeah. This, uh, thank the Lord they're on day, day to the street. This is going to be okay. This is all going to come together. I like this. Don't worry. The enemy will come to you. Yep. There's Wiener. How are we going to implant that stone back into her, though? Oh, I just realized she's on the surface. So other familias are going to feel the need to take charge. This is going to be the worst scenario I've ever seen. Imagine trying to tell the entire higher-ups of the Loki familia that this monster is okay. He's gonna be the true hero, though. He's gonna be the man I know he's going to be. He's gonna stand up to everything for Wiene, right? This is the bell I know. This is the bell that I choose to stand behind right here. Good boy bell, no matter what odds, yep. I know how hard that was. I can feel it. I have chills right now, but that was much needed. My heart is racing just like his. Ikelos is loving this. Hermes is like, damn, Bell. Yeah. Hermes, no, he feels him. Sadly, man, that's so sad to think, man, because fools are always the best heroes, bro. Damn it. This is why I love shonen, because there's so many shonen tropes that no matter what are somewhat universal and can always connect to any show that you're watching that's a shonen and also to a lot of our, our lives because we are really the shonen main character of our own lives in a lot of ways. And so it's funny because I was literally just watching Black Clover yesterday and something was very much similar said to uh, Asta as it said to Belle, like, you're a fool, you know, you're an idiot. Even though obviously Asta and Bell are both very smart people, they do these things that defy logic and reason. Like logic would say, oh, if 99% of the people here want to kill this monster, this monster, obviously it's not Wiene, but this monster species has killed countless adventure. Like logic and reason would obviously say, kill this monster, but Obviously, that's not going to happen because of our main heroes, you know, ideologies, thoughts, you know, love, compassion for this being. But it's just so much. It's so crazy how we put ourselves in these horrible situations for the betterment of our friends, ones we love and stuff like that. And it defies all logic. And people like Hermes, who are a third party, people like Veto and Black Clover are just like, man, you guys are fucking idiots. Why do you put yourself in these situations? In which you're just gonna cause more risk to yourself and you know and then that's the same thing what Asta said in Black Clover he's like who am I gonna protect if I'm not in the way you know it's like same thing with Bell who's he gonna who's gonna protect Wiene literally no one but him so I like I said a hundred percent am on Bell's side I feel for my boy but oh my god do I understand how hard that would be to do that not only in front of the one you love eyes her entire familia 
who the majority are three levels higher than you, the entirety of the common people here on the street who have not only uh, word to mouth that can absolutely kill somebody's reputation, but just like, this is just the most public place on Daedalus Street too. Oh my God. And then Dix got away and his fucking homie got away with his spearhead. This was an all around like L right now. Like I thought this was going to be a dub after what happened with lead gross. I was so happy what happened with Dix, but no, this is a, this is a pretty tough L which sucks because I, oh man, we're going to need to confront eyes. We already talked to her about this earlier. We're going to need to talk to her. She's going to have a little more context into why we asked that question into why we're doing this, but it's just like, I don't know, man, this just sucks. This is a horrible situation. I'm so excited to see what happens with the end of that big monster who attacked Ryu, Asfi, Aisha, all the other uh, Ganesha familia, familia. Cause to get rid of, someone told me Ryu's a level five or a four. Aisha is a fresh level four. Asfi has to be at least level four. Like there must have been a number of strong adventures right there. And he took them out like it was nothing. So I, whew, I don't know where he's, what role he's gonna play, but I am excited for it. I am excited for it. But on that note, I think I'm going to head out of here this next episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate you. If you guys want early access, full length, check out that Patreon down below. Always available to you guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments section down below. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. I'll catch you on this next one. Peace out, y'all.